Hey guys, welcome back. Sorry for my absence. I was away on vacation for a little while. Um, I just got back on Sunday, so I'm still, um, you know, adjusting back to routine and everything. Uh, so that's where I've been. Um, but yeah, welcome back. Um, I've got a really interesting and awesome figure to show you guys today. Um, he's a Cyber Hobby exclusive World War II figure. Um, this is my second one that I've been able to pick up. Um, he's really awesome. Uh, his name is uh, Grigory uh, Sergeyevich Sokolov. Hopefully I said that right. Um, he is Russian. Um, you know, it's hard to pick up a Russian figure, so picking up a cyber hobby Russian figure is even more difficult to do. Uh, this is a really hard one to track down. Um, I saw him pop up on eBay about a month ago, I think. Um, and I just, I went all in. I ended up paying, I think, 90 bucks for him, which I think was totally worth it. Um, uh, that was the first time I've seen this guy listed on eBay. And I was really, really excited to uh, win the auction. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and look at the box. Um, it's really nice. You got a small little picture here of uh, Sokolov. He is a corporal from uh, Leningrad, 1943, and there's a picture of him. He is a Soviet naval infantry sniper, uh, so a really unique figure. Never seen anything uh, really like this before. Um, not really much else to show, except for the inside of the box. Um, there is a little collectible card that you get with these cyber hobby figures. So you can see a uh, little picture of the figure there. So that's the box. And let's bring out the figure now. Alright, so here he is. He's super awesome. I really like this one. Uh, I was really impressed with him, especially the, uh, the sniper rifle. He's just really nice. The uh, wrappings on there just look great, I think. All right, so let's go ahead and look at his sniper rifle in more detail. So he holds it really well. Okay, here it is up close. Got a nice uh, strap on there. And you can uh, pull this back. It is a little, uh, it's pretty delicate there, so I try not to pull that up too often. Um, but yeah, the main uh, attraction with the sniper rifle is the uh, snow wrappings uh, that you get with this. Really nice, and uh, you do have to put that on manually. It wasn't too hard to do, um, and I think it looks really great. Uh, you put it on the scope as well, and you can uh, take the scope off. Alright, so that's his weapon. Really, really awesome. Very impressive, I think. Alright, um, right now he's wearing his helmet. He does come with another hat, which I'll uh, show you in a second. But uh, his helmet is really nice. You can see it's got the, um, the white camouflage on there. Okay, so here's a better look at that. Super nice. I've never really seen anything like this on a Russian helmet, so um, very unique. And there's the uh, the padding underneath. Okay, and here's his other hat um, or cap, whatever you want to call this. Um, it is his naval cap, and it's really nice. And it fits really well on his head as well. I think it looks good. So there's a look at that. You know, you can get some good poses here. You know, with the sniper rifle, if you want to. You could do something like that. Looks really awesome, I think. All 
All right, here's a look at his head sculpt, which is very nicely detailed. I think this one looks good. Uh, unfortunately, the hair is a little chipped um, on the top there. That's how it came. Not sure how that happened because um, he was brand new in the box. But um, yeah, cool looking head sculpt. I like this one a lot. It's got very sharp features. Um, as for his uniform, uh, I think it looks nice as well. I love all the metals that he comes with. You do have to um, glue those on. At least I did for two of them. One of them stuck on um, immediately. Uh, but the other two uh, ran out. Or not ran out, but you know, the stickiness uh, kind of expired. So I had to glue those on. But I think they look really good. Alright, he's got uh, this bag here, and then he's got pouches here for ammunition, I'm assuming. Um, he does have a grenade here, off hanging off his belt, that's really cool. And then a nice belt as well, I like the belt a lot, so uh, very sturdy I think. And he's got his canteen in the back, and then we got a knife. Or almost a small bayonet it looks like so that's really nice so everything uh, was pretty easy to put together um, didn't have any issues and then we got his uh, shirt or tunic um, got the red uh, shoulder pads on there it looks really good and underneath of this you can see he's got his navel shirt Okay. Um, as for his pants, right now he's wearing his snow pants, uh, which weren't too hard to put on. And underneath of that, he does have a matching, uh, matching pants for his shirt or tunic. Um, I can kind of briefly show you that, I guess. Okay, so uh, you can see it under there. And then lastly, we've got his boots, which are also nice. Alright. Alright guys, so that is uh, Grigory Sergeyevich Sokolov. <laughs> uh, pretty uh, wordy name there. Uh, but this is an awesome figure, and I do recommend getting him if, um, if you can find him very hard to find and I, I think I just got lucky I did pay a lot for him but I think it was definitely worth it considering how nice he is and considering how rare he is so um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video uh, thanks so much for watching um, I got a lot of other figures to review so uh, stay tuned for those and I'll see you then